Unit 5. Lesson 3. Space, our new window on the world. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the thousands of stars? Our solar system is only a very small part of the universe. It consists of a star and eight planets in orbit around it. The third planet looks blue and very beautiful from space. The star is the sun, and the third planet from the sun is our home, Earth. Human beings have lived on Earth for many thousands of years. But only half a century ago, something new happened. We made our first journey into space. In 1957, the Russians launched Sputnik, a small satellite that orbited Earth and sent back radio signals to us. Their first astronaut followed in 1961. Then, in 1969, two Americans flew to the moon. Astronauts have been to the moon several times since 1969, but humans have never traveled beyond it. Instead, we have explored the planets with unmanned spacecraft which we have sent all over the solar system. For example, we now know that Mars has water, and so humans could perhaps live there. However, space travel is very expensive, and some people have always believed it is a waste of money. Why are we looking at other worlds when we have so many problems here? They say. Let's use the money to change the world that we already have. They forget one thing. Work in space has already changed our world enormously. This has happened through satellite communications. In 1960, an American satellite sent back the first weather pictures to Earth. In 1962, another started sending television pictures round the planet. Since then, we have launched thousands of satellites to do many different jobs. Most importantly, there are now nearly 200 communications satellites in orbit 36,000 kilometers above Earth. These send TV signals round the world, day and night. They bring us great events as they happen. They bring us people's faces, sad or happy. They bring us closer to each other. We humans share this one small home and must learn to share it well. Satellite communications are helping us to do exactly that.